Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your notification bell and join the family. In this video, guys, we're gonna talk about DJ Academics chiming in on how Diddy could possibly overcome all of what he's currently dealing with and is possibly um facing in the near future or things that he will be possibly faced to deal with in the near future. Let's talk about it, shall we? Because in case you have been missing out, I know that many of us, we have so such a busy schedule, such a busy life that we cannot keep up as we would like to. So I just want to give a quick synopsis into what has occurred from last year up until this point. So just hang in there here with me guys now in case you're not aware last year um november did his ex-girlfriend cassie ventura filed a lawsuit against him the details in the lawsuit very graphic very horrific and sean diddy combs um settled within one day now following the lawsuit following that lawsuit there were numerous allegations and lawsuit after that at this point diddy has been hit with his eighth lawsuit also back in march his la and miami mansion was raided and you know people said that because uh, um cassie basically dropped trail of evidence um sorry trail of information that is in the lawsuit from uh, from november of 2023 homeland security went in to basically find everyday evidence but people such as candace owens did not believe that the Homeland Security, you know, department went in to find evidence on Diddy. She said that they went in to secure evidence, um, that Sean Diddy Combs may have on celebrities and politicians because in a lawsuit that was filed by Diddy's former producer, Little Rod, Rodney Jones, um, he basically alleged that Diddy has been sleeping with a lot of popular figures in the industry, people such as Lucian Grange, and the list goes on. So um, Rodney Jones also revealed that Diddy has video cameras in his bedroom, recording every trace, every activity, every freak-offs, etc. that goes on. And I think that this is believable, um, you know, that he definitely has tapes on people because 50 Cent has shared with us that he has saw um, Cassie in a, you know, compromising position with other men. And when he asked Diddy if Diddy knew about it, he was like, yeah, yeah, he really wasn't bothered by it and he did not have a problem by it. Now... Um, Diddy has since then, you know, blasted the allegations against him. And after he blasted those allegations, I think it was two weeks ago. Yeah, to this week, one week, I think. Yeah, he's gone correct. One week, because that happened last weekend. CNN released a video that went viral. In that video, we could see Sean Diddy Combs putting hands and feet on Cassie Cassandra Ventura after she tried to exit the hotel that they were staying at at the time. It is said that they had a falling out. You know, Cassie waited until he was sleeping or she thought he was asleep, but Diddy rushed out, grabbed a towel, wrapped around his waist, and started uh, assaulting her. Now, after they realized that cameras were there, well, did he, in this case, he paid the hotel security team $50,000 for them to erase the footage. But he, what he was not aware of is the fact that when he got a copy of the tape, they also gave Cassie Ventura a copy of that tape, and that tape is what CNN released. Since then, Diddy was it with number eight lawsuit. He has apologized. You know, everyone slammed his apology to be fake. So now we have DJ Academics, who has recently sat down with Lamar Odom. And I don't remember who the other guy is because I really can't see the face and I don't have all the details. But on DJ Academics podcast, you had Lamar Odom, and it was basically chiming in on how Diddy can possibly overcome all that he's currently dealing with and possibly, 
you know, to face with in the near future. Academics is saying, you know, Diddy should come out and say that he has always had, you know, gay tendencies or feeling bisexual. It has always been a thing for him. And Diddy should plea, you know, insanity. When academics said that, immediately people start saying that, you know, academics is giving away his flavor because academics has similar charges, you know, pending against him because he has been sued by a female, you know, but the allegations to me in my, you know, own little sense here is it's it's like too many gaps and holes but enough of me i want to play that clip for you guys it's 58 seconds so you can see academics delivery and his opinion and advice to sean diddy combs let's take a look at the clip together so that we both can be on the same page equally and then i'll get back with the rest of my commentary like yo if you don't if you're not trying to get canceled it's the only way to be i, I think diddy got to do that what? I said there's three ways Diddy could get out of his situation publicly. I don't know about the feds. The feds might still get him. <clears throat> One, he got to come out, tell the whole world that he'd been gay or been bi or that really he always identified as a woman. That's, that's one way. Second way is to say that he had mental health issues and, you know, he's seeking really, therapy. Yeah, yeah. He's, mm. you know, he's been seeking therapy to send third. Mm. The last way is to say he apologizes, but all his actions was because he was touched as a child. Yeah, mm. only three ways. And and people will be like, you know what? Oh, you got fucked too? No wonder you're doing free cough. Chill. <laughs> Chill. No, real talk. Like, again, <laughs> That's crazy. Like, you know, we live in a land of trauma, and if people see you as a monster just enacting. No, guys, I definitely understand what DJ Academics is saying because, I mean, it literally does give the sense that DD may have mental health issues because you have to either have mental health issues or be truly evil, cold, and dark to carry out such actions and especially to consciously repeat those actions. Now, you know, the streets have been saying this seems to be, you know, DJ's, DJ Academic's plan and his intentions to come out of his um, current legal wranglings. And you know what? The man is no fool. If that was his, you know, play card, he would not be giving it away so publicly. I believe what he's talking about is just cases similar to these wherein people have done such thing and have, you know, gotten some leniency. So I think that that's where his, you know, um, perception or his delivery is um, coming from. That's what it is currently influenced by. But I honestly don't believe that would fly for Sean Diddy Combs on the basis that he had really, um, he had a team around him or unless it is the case we already, you know, at some point in time, Christina Karam or someone like that had sent him a message saying, Sean, I think it is time for you to actually see a um, psychologist or get some mental mental health evaluation and diagnosis. If he doesn't have any paper trail of such, it's going to be, it, it's, it's literally going to be hard for him to pull an insanity to get out of this because he had an HR team, so many people around him again, and his boys are no fool. His boys could have also encouraged him to get the help that he needs. But I do know one thing that seems to work for people and that is authenticity. I think that if he starts being more authentic, be honest, be honest, you know, with himself and be honest with the public, take some accountability for your actions. And, you know, instead of, you know, saying that you're going to settle these lawsuits, what about start giving the people the money that they deserve? You know, whatever is owing to Little Rod. Hey, Little Rod, you're soon for 30. But after checks, here's the proof that I only owe you 1.5. I'm going to pay you 1.5. Anything else, you can take it up legally and I'll be fighting it. You know, all the other artists that he owes just the same. Go back and try to do, you know, do do them some justice because again so many allegations against him at this point and we know that this is just the smoke every time we think the fire is here honey i keep telling y'all the fire ain't here as yet this is still the smoke the fire remains to come but that's all i have to share in this video let me know your thoughts while you're at it thumbs up share stay safe see you guys later bye guys